What's your name? I don't answer questions. Well, we ask questions. Obviously. What will you provide us? Um, a good day. You're not helping us out at all. Well, you're not helping me out. No, I didn't invite you here. Do they drive a the vehicle? No, they do cartwheels everywhere they go, officer. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Today's story was submitted by the channel Can Fit, who was relaxing at home when he noticed two uniformed officers of the Phoenix Police Department approach his door. Normally, you should never answer questions or open your door for them. If they are allowed to enter, they will without your consent. In this encounter, Can Fit had his door open with a security gate obstructing public view or access. The officers claimed they were called to the address to conduct a welfare check. What do you need? Phoenix Police, can you court us? It's fine. I hear you. What's your name? I don't answer questions. Okay, do you live here? Do you live here? What's your name? What's your name, dude? Who else is in the house? Who else is in there? Who else is in the house, dude? Who else is in here? Is anybody else in here? What's the complaint? Uh, Bradley. Bradley. Is your name Bradley by chance? I'm afraid you were mistaken. You're not Bradley? Do I match the description? Okay. Do you know Bradley? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, we ask questions. Obviously. Yeah. And obviously. Is that the reason why you're being uncooperative? Do, I'm not obligated to. Well, we're just doing a check welfare. For else that, not for you. The officers claim to have been called to this address for a Bradley and a Dorothy. Can Fit does let the officers know that he is neither Bradley or Dorothy, and does well to refrain from answering further questions. I'm not a Bradley. Okay. Do you know Bradley? I do not. Okay. Um, are you the owner of this house? I am not. Who is? I'm not answering any further questions. Why is that? Why is that? Can I help you any further with your yeah, yeah. investigation? Yes. Can you help us figure out why we're why we're here? Uh, why? Apparently, you're investigating a Bradley, and that's not me. No, we're doing a, we're doing a check welfare for a Bradley. No, Bradley's the one they called us. Oh, well, I'm not Bradley, okay. and there's no reason for any welfare check here. There is. Uh, because Bradley called? We're not checking on you. What's the name of the person? Dorothy. Do you know Dorothy? I do not. Does a Dorothy live here? No. But you don't live here? I do. You said you do not? No, I said I do not own the house. Who owns the house? Does Dorothy own the house? I don't answer any questions. That's, you guys are perfectly capable of finding that information out without me. I appreciate your adventure into your investigation, but it's well, not going to... I don't appreciate it because I don't know why you're being uncooperative. There's no reason for you to... Mm, there's no reason for me to be cooperative. Thank you, officers. We're not leaving yet. All right. Well... You can if you want. You're welcome to stay right there. The officers continued to ask questions that Can Fit is not obligated to answer just because somebody called 911. They grow more frustrated, but at this point, it seems fairly obvious that Can Fit is the only occupant and is not going to surrender his Fourth Amendment rights to allow armed agents of the state to enter and search his home without cause. If there truly was a 911 call to ask for a welfare check, perhaps the officers' time would be more wisely spent trying to find the correct address and offering their assistance elsewhere. Where. Instead, they press for CanFit's information. What do you need to help your investigation? We need your information and we need to see if we can find the person who lives here, who owns the house. 
so if I am a renter and I don't own the house, how do you solve your query? Are you a renter? I am. Do you have paperwork that shows you are? You don't need to see that. Just do your investigation. That is part of the investigation. Well, I'm not obligated to provide that for you. What will you provide us? Um, a good day. Enjoy your day. Well, we're not going anywhere, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Can fit sighs in relief after closing his door. He then calls his landlord to request they come to the property as they live nearby. There's a Bradley that called the police asking about a Dorothy. What, are you guys at home? Yeah. Will you come here? Officers. The owner of the house here will be here within 10 minutes if you'd like to hang tight. We're not going anywhere, so... But obviously. Thank you. The officers now inquire about a third name. You're not helping us out at all. Well, you're not helping me out. No, I didn't invite you here. You didn't have to invite us here. Well, responding to a call for service. For a welfare check? Another welfare check. About who? You can ask me to speak with Lisa. Yeah, this will all be cleared up real quick. I understand you guys are doing what you're doing, but there's Lisa, please. There's nobody here under that name. Where's Lisa? I appreciate your efforts. It's just there's not a person named Lisa here. I didn't ask if there was somebody here named Lisa. I said, can we speak with? Her? With a Lisa? Yes. I don't. I I don't know who Lisa is. Well, who'd you call? Who? I didn't call anybody. I've been sitting here watching TV. You were on the phone saying that you called the homeowner. You said they're going to be here within 10 minutes, Oh, right? yeah. Well, that's not Lisa. It, it, all of that will be answered shortly, officer. I um, appreciate your time. Well, we would appreciate your cooperation. You got it. I'm having the homeowners come to help you with your investigation. Okay. How long are they going to be until they're here? How, do you remember when I said... Was that? You're an investigator, or do you have the qualifications to? Because I gave you information, and you did not what seem to remember it. Huh? Do they drive a vehicle? No, they do cartwheels everywhere they go, officer. So what kind of vehicle do they drive? They drive a cartwheel vehicle. It's wheels and or hands and feet. They do cartwheels everywhere they go. I don't know. What the f do I know? How do they get around? That's Your investigation is going to be solved shortly, officer. Your questions do not regard to me. I'm not the person of your interest. Currently you are. Is there a description? We have yours. Which matches what? What was the description? See, you can't answer. Your investigation's interesting. I'm happy to help you with limited information. You're welcome to continue. The homeowners finally arrive and confirm that no one by the names of Bradley, Dorothy, or Lisa lives in the home. Thank you, officers. Thank you. Have a good day. It's a misunderstanding, yeah? Yes. Thank you. Not, not on your part, it's on the person that made the call. I get it, and, and that's why I mentioned it earlier. You guys are doing your investigation and you'll get the answers. Yeah. Thank you. And right. thank you for actually calling the homeowners. That yeah, that made it quick because I don't think you guys would have taken my answers as I'm a suspect. For some reason, the officers take the homeowner's word that they in fact own the home. Then they leave, seemingly in no rush to find the alleged emergency. Remember that anything you say to a law enforcement officer will be used against you in court. According to the 2019 annual report by the National Registry of Exonerations, wrongful conviction statistics show that the percentage of wrongful convictions is somewhere between 2 and 10 percent. Aside from not breaking the law, the next best way to keep yourself out of prison is to limit your interactions with the police. If you are forced into a situation in which you must speak with them, remember that you do not have to answer their questions without a lawyer present. A big thanks to CanFit for submitting this video. If you'd like to see the portions I removed, be sure to check out his channel using the links down below. As always, Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review,
review. Use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.